Evergreen Cypress Ministry International, ECMI, presents The Higher Life with Dr. Daniel O. Yuparna, President of ECMI. ECMI is an interdenominational outreach ministry founded by Dr. and Mrs. Daniel Yuparna to pursue God's mandate for global mass evangelism. His glory be the supernatural and revival. Across several cities and in various nations, Dr. Daniel Euphorna's crusades and meetings are characterized by the tangible manifestation of God's glory. In intense teaching and prophetic anointing, and awe inspiring signs and wonders that exalt Jesus. Through cooperation with hundreds of churches from different denominations and in various locations, ECMI Mega Crusades have witnessed mass salvations, the stirring of believers unto revival, and impacting of entire towns. Welcome to another exciting episode of The Higher Life with me, your host, Dr. Daniel O'Farona. It's my pleasure to bring God's word and God's presence and God's glory uh, into your homes and your offices across the nations of the earth. I'm excited about this series I'm teaching currently on the glory of God. And today is another exciting time to teach and demonstrate the glory of God and my intention and desire is that each and every one of my hearers and listeners uh, becomes a person who experiences and knows the glory of God. Folks, that's a realm in which to, to dwell in and a realm in which to abide. I've said a lot of things about the glory. I, I, I've said that you see, as believers we are supernatural and that we have um, a divine nature that can be expressed when we access the supernatural realm and manifest here on earth. Uh, and there are three ways by which we can access the supernatural. The anointing, I mean faith, the anointing, and the glory. Uh, I've talked about the levels of the presence of God. That we have the overnight presence, the indwelling presence, and the manifest presence. And that the glory of God is synonymous with the manifest presence. The glory of God is the atmosphere of the heaven. The glory of God and God are one. But today, I want to talk about the significance of the glory as a, uh, the symbolic um, understanding we gain from the manifestation of the glory as a cloud. Uh, many times in the Old Testament, the glory of God manifested as a cloud. We saw that happen in Exodus 40. We saw that happen in 2 Chronicles 5. You know, the glory of God manifested as a cloud. So, uh, a, a cloud is a symbolic um representation for the glory of God and that carries brings is with it its own special understanding so now in the physical a, a cloud and that's in the natural a cloud represents productivity when, when there are clouds um, it means that there will be rain when there's rain it means that the earth will yield harvest we see that uh, described very well in Isaiah 55. Now, in the spirit, the cloud of glory represents or brings about supernatural productivity. In the natural, clouds bring rain. In the spirit, the glory of God, the cloud of glory brings revelation. Under the atmosphere of glory, um, we begin to see that's why Paul says we all with open faces beholding as in a glass the glory of God are being changed into the same image from glory to glory in the atmosphere of glory faces get opened and then we begin to behold and begin to get transformed in Isaiah 40 verse 5 he says um, the glory of the Lord will be revealed and all flesh will see it together so the atmosphere of glory is the atmosphere of revelation through visions and the revelation comes through visions it comes through dreams it comes in trances it comes by God speaking directly to your heart 
you know, it comes as understanding, deeper understanding of scriptures. So this revelation now brings supernatural productivity in the affairs of life here. Okay. Now, in the natural, that's the third point, in the natural, cloud represents a readiness for release. Now, when you're going out uh, as, as an adult and you see clouds, you, you understand that there's a readiness for rain to be released upon the earth in the natural. In fact, in Ecclesiastes, the Bible says, when the clouds are full, they empty themselves of rain upon the earth. So, in the spirit also, when the cloud of glory is a manifestation, in other words, when the glory of God is a manifestation, it represents a readiness for release. In fact, that means that God does not manifest himself if he's not ready to release something from that manifest presence. So every time the presence of God becomes manifest, it teaches us an important lesson. Uh, it, it tells us, it, it's an important signal. It's a signal that God is ready to release something upon us. Because when he comes, the Bible says, in his presence, there's fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures evermore. So when that presence becomes manifest, there is a fullness that comes along with it. When that presence becomes manifest, there are pleasures that come, comes along with it. So the manifestation of the cloud of glory or of the glory of God in the spirit represents a readiness for release. Hallelujah. So when you experience the manifest presence, you need to expect God to speak. Expect God to, you know, release a miracle. Expect God to release a vision or a dream. Expect God to release a provision. Expect God to release a healing. You see, that's why we, we, we're so hungry and we caught that manifest presence. We seek to have that as a continual experience. You know why? Because every, within the context of that manifest presence, supplies are released. You know, in Philippians 4, 19, he says, He will supply our needs according to his riches in glory. In other words, that glory is, is a storehouse of supply. It, 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 it's the atmosphere of heaven. It, it, it's the storehouse of supply. So when it, it manifests here on earth, you know, supplies become available. Hallelujah. So you want to ask today, that then, how do we get the glory of God into manifestation? Oh, it's 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 simple. It's not it's, it's not difficult. You know, uh, uh, I, I want to talk about what I call the spectrum of worship. Because worship is one of the key ways through which the glory of God is provoked into manifestation. Through which the active presence of God is provoked into manifestation. In Psalms 22, the Bible says in verse 3 that God dwells, he inhabits, or he is enthroned in the praises of Israel. That was true then and that is still true today. And when I mean worship, uh, 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 worship is, is more than just singing. Now there are three, at least three different expressions of worship. You see, in the Old Testament, worship was when you offered anything to God, that was worship. So also it is in the New. Worship is when we offer to God. And worship, you know, it goes beyond just singing. Now, worship actually begins with our lifestyle. In Romans, because I'm talking about New Testament worship now. You see, in Romans 12, 1, Bible says, Let us therefore offer unto God, the, you know, Romans 12, 1, that's Hebrews 13, I'm still coming there. But Romans 12, 1 says, Let us present our bodies as a living sacrifice unto God, which is our reasonable form of, of service. So, in other words, when your body becomes a living sacrifice, it means that you empty yourself of your will. You die to self and you present yourself as a vessel unto honor, unto God, you know, so that God can use you. So the beginning of true worship is when we die to self. When we, when we yield our will to the Holy Spirit, when we yield ourselves unto God, that's true worship. Really, that's what God wants. Paul spoke of the church in 2 Corinthians 8. He says, they first gave themselves to God and then to us by the will of God. So they gave themselves to God. Now that means, that, that's, that's, that's worship. God wants us. He wants our will. Now, that's where worship begins. Secondly, 
Worship is also the fruit of our lips. We see that in Hebrews 13, 15. The fruit of our lips. It means when you worship God with your lips, especially in singing. You know, and it's essential that when you worship God, you do that with all of your heart. Psalm 139, you know, let's know. Psalm 111 verse 1, let us know that. That we worship God with all of our heart. That means our heart aligns with what our mouth has, has, is, is saying. You know, Christians who, are, uh, who have been in God for a while, we're very adroit at, you know, singing absent-mindedly. We're singing in a service where our minds are on a football match. Singing in a service where our minds are on the food we want to eat. But true worship is when your heart and your mouth are aligned. That's the kind of worship that provokes God into manifestation. The third form of worship is actually the highest form of worship is sacrifice. You know, when you offer to God what that which is precious to you. In Philippians 4.18, it says, Paul was writing, that I have received from Epaphroditus, you know, what you have said, a sweet smelling aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, well pleasing to God. In the New Testament, we don't sacrifice blood of bulls and goats again, but we sacrifice what is precious to us. In fact, the first time worship was mentioned in the Bible, it was Abraham when he was going to sacrifice Isaac. He said, I and the Lord will go yonder and worship. So the highest form of worship is when we offer unto God things that are precious to us. Now, so these three things, if you can offer unto God your will, die to self and yield your will to God. If you can sing and, and make melody in your heart to God with your whole heart and offer your substance unto God, Honestly, you can provoke the glory of God into manifestation. As Solomon did in 2 Chronicles 5, he says, When the minstrels were be, became as one to sing unto God, the glory of God came down. In Isaiah 6, we see the same thing. The angels, the seraphims, they shouted, Holy, 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 holy. And the temple was filled with the glory of God. Now, I'm going to show you, uh, I want you to, you know, just stay put and listen to a testimony of what happens when that glory becomes manifest. And then I'll come back and minister and pray with you. Please don't go away. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. Men shall speak of the might of your awesome acts and I will declare your greatness. All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power. The year 2013 began with a prophetic word from Dr. Daniel that people should expect a more intense activity of angels. I told you you should get set for angelic activities this year. Yeah. That was exactly Solomon's experience many months after this prophetic word was given. Solomon had a Caleg and always desired a correction of his Caleg. His faith was sparked up at a healing service with Dr. Daniel where he saw hands and legs grow out. At the next healing service with Dr. Daniel, Solomon was present and eagerly expected. Watch Solomon explain his supernatural encounter with the glory of God through ministering Mighty angels. God. I grew up with a Caleb and I was not really comfortable with that. And so I actually was trusting God for miracle of correction, how we put it that way. And in one of our, our midweek uh, healing services, I, I witnessed where uh, fingers grew out accurately and where a uh, leg grew out accurately as well. So I, I kind of got encouraged in my faith. I kind of had faith that God was going to do mine as well. I actually have been longing for, for that miracle. And so in the next healing service, I I came out. I attended the next healing service and while seated on my seat, I actually saw an angel.
standing uh, close to the section reserved for pastor just for a few seconds and after a while he, he became invisible again i didn't really pay more attention to that until after a while after a few seconds i why well, see that i was still trusting god praying in the mode of prayer i, I saw two angels that walked up towards me and next night so worse uh above the nail amputation they took off my two legs right and i was wondering i was i was i didn't like the what i was saying i was trying to resist somehow but i couldn't really resist it until after a while they brought back a new set of legs and they were it was replaced this happened in a few seconds and after it was replaced i got my myself back i got into consciousness so i was wondering what, what just happened and he prayed the more after the prayer it actually sincerely got better and I was really, really excited because it's a miracle I've really longed for all my, all my life. I was not comfortable with the leg, though I had to live with it, though. But after the prayer, it till date, it has only gotten better. And I really give God the glory. That day, actually, when I, I, I stood up and I checked it, I, I actually had about 19% correction on the leg. And to this, I will say again, it has actually gotten better, and I give God the glory. In a single encounter with God's glory, Solomon's long desire for correction of his keleg became an instant reality. Glory! Hallelujah! Jesus still is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What Jesus did for Solomon yesterday, he'll still do for you today. Only believe, release your faith, and connect to His presence today. One generation shall praise your works to another, and shall declare your mighty acts. Men shall speak of the might of your awesome acts, and I will declare your greatness. All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power. And just like the testimony you've seen, God is set to do amazing miracles for you right now. Remember that there's no distance in the realm of the spirit. I want you to place your hand on any part of your body where you have a problem, where you, where you believe in God for a healing. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up everyone that believe in you for one healing or the other right now. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I command every foul devil of infirmity to take their hands off of their bodies in the name of Jesus. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, wholeness is restored. That waste is healed in the name of Jesus. The, the hips healed in the name of Jesus. The tongue healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Now, this is time to put your faith to action. Yes, put your faith to action. Take a step of faith and, you know, uh, do something that you've not been able to do before. Because the miracles of God are released by faith. I see somebody walking now. You may not have been able to walk before. A lady actually in a dress, white kind of dress, milk, milk cream kind of dress. You know, walking and stepping out in the name of Jesus. Be healed completely in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, O God. Yes, Lord. She had a libra Oh, landaba sanalaba. You know, man is the healing brudulabo. The healing power of God is at work. The healing power of God is at work. Take your healing now by faith. 
take your healing now by faith. It is your turn today. It is your turn today. It is your turn today. Rise and be healed. It is your turn today. Rise and be healed. Lord, we cancel every sentence of death and every agent of the enemy in the name of Jesus. You are rebuked in the name of Jesus. Yes, everyone will live out their days walking in a way that pleases you in the name of Jesus. That elbow is healed in the name of Jesus. Mendo zora handi brudu halaka bandala ba. Oji branda la ba 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 sanda la ba 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 ba. Ye branda zeli heke da ba 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 ba. Shi andoro bolo bolo ba 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 ba. Yes, Lord, I see gifts being given in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Yes, landa brusunda hala ba ba ba. Gifts are released in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's a turnaround season. You know, it's a turnaround season. Let there be a turnaround now in the name of Jesus. Lord, read the Labasanda Lakadiri Basunda Laba Baba. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Riki the Bashanda Laba Baba. Oh, the Abasanda Laba Baba Baba. Landa ye de Hikibasan. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, that healing power. Is... Some of you will feel it like a vibration. Yes, that back is healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, you know, you that are crippled, you can't walk in the name of Jesus. I release the healing power of God. Yes, putting on your on your on your bum. I release the healing power of God. Let those legs receive strength, be straightened. In the name of Jesus, I say, rise up and walk now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I know a lot of uh, miracles have happened in the course of this ministration. I want you to check your bodies. And um, as you notice the difference, you know, some of you are noticing that difference already. You felt that power of God. Please send your testimonies via email or SMS. It's important, you know, to the address you see. On the screen it's important to testify why because as you testify god will do more for you as you testify your testimony will inspire other people it will reveal the glory of god to other people you know david said let my glory not be silent you know thank you very much but don't go away yet if you're watching me today and you're yet to surrender completely to jesus i invite you to make jesus lord of your life today pray with me lord jesus I surrender myself to you today. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and fire and hunger for more of you. Amen. Take the next step today. Pray and join a Bible believing church and start reading the Bible. I want to send you an ebook on your next step as a new believer. So you send me an email or SMS to the address on your screen now, then I'll send you that ebook. Jesus loves you, and so do I. It's happening next in Kubwa, Abuja, Nigeria. As ECMI presents Kubwa Mega Crusade with Dr. Daniel Euphorina. Kubwa, get set for a fiesta of miracles. Details to be communicated soon. Jesus is glorified. Evangelism is of foremost importance in God's agenda. There is joy in heaven over one sinner that repents than 99 others that are righteous. So Jesus' last major command to all believers was the Great Commission, which is to go and make disciples of all nations. The Great Commission demands great obedience and it's every believer's responsibility. And evangelism is the arrowhead of the Great Commission. Supernatural mass evangelism is one of God's prophetic strategies for evangelism. It was prophesied in Daniel 12 verse 3 and officially kick-started in Acts 2 on the day of Pentecost where 3,000 people were saved at once. Now, over several generations, God has raised men and women to pursue supernatural mass evangelism. 
Now, in this current generation, that is my assignment. So I wanted to invite you to join hearts and resources with me and ECMI in this noble task of mass evangelism. Three things will happen to you as you give and partner ECMI today. Firstly, heaven will rejoice as you partner to bring sinners to salvation. Secondly, you will find inner fulfillment knowing you are doing what God loves and you are being fruitful on earth in preparation to stand before God on the last day. Thirdly, the same power at work in our crusades, producing all the miracles you've seen, will work in your finances and family to bring you into accelerated harvest. Now, this is exactly what happened for a dear partner that gave over a million naira sacrificially for our last mega crusade, and a bad debt in millions was paid up suddenly within one to two weeks of her sowing that seed. It was a similar story with another dear family that gave towards the crusade and i prayed for that lady and that week she got a call and was given a company an existing business outfit along with existing customers existing premises and equipment for little or nothing that's what happened for so many others today i want you to take that step also of faith today set yourself for this same power go online to ecmiworldwide.org and register to partner today all who register to give any amount will receive a soft copy of this colorful partner brochure and also a soft copy of the brochure that reports our last mega crusade with wonderful images from this amazing um, crusade now for all those who can i want to challenge you to commit to give 50 dollars or its equivalent that's about 600 dollars annually to ecmi's mass crusades and i'll send you a soft copy of my mp3 message series on supernatural finances in the realm of glory in addition to the brochures i've mentioned earlier um and to those who can also go beyond that i challenge you to commit a hundred dollars monthly or its equivalent um that is a hundred thousand two hundred dollars annually or above and you receive in addition to all this i've mentioned a soft copy of my book faith capsules living a supernatural life by faith so i challenge you today don't procrastinate start giving to mass evangelism today give your best to god's first that is his priority let me pray for all our evangelism partners and everyone that's taking that step today. I want you to bring out your financial instruments, your wallets, credit cards, uh, as a point of contact. Uh, when we do that, we see tremendous outpourings of God's power. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release your power over every finances and careers and, and just your lives generally. In the name of Jesus, as they are supporting and partnering with you lord there is a flow of resources in their direction because he that bears fruit you will strengthen to bear more fruit lord in the name of jesus they are celebrated in the name of jesus there's a there's expansion in the name of jesus lord in places of restrictions gaps are opening up in the name of jesus for partners yes lord yes lord oh the the, the wounded and the broken hearted are bound up in the name of jesus i see celebration getting ready for a celebration in the name of Jesus, Landa Basunda Laba, you will call people to come and celebrate with you. Yes, Lord, Rinda Basanda Laba Shenda Laba. Yes, Lord, get ready because your day is, is, is right around the corner and that day is here. Oh, the day of your revelation unto Israel. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let there be supernatural supplies. In the name of Jesus, let that be paid up. In the name of Jesus, 
let businesses increase and expand the name of Jesus yes there's a lady with a shop you know and Lord says it's time for increase in the name of Jesus yes Lord yes Lord the past is over uh, it's a new day it's a new day God's getting ready to you know put your past behind you is sweeping the past behind you and it's a new day in the name of Jesus blessed be your name of God in Jesus name we pray amen now for everyone um, I just want you to know that giving can be done via our website ecmiworldwide.org or via international or local bank transfers to the account details on your screen so take that step today don't procrastinate and expect God to empower you to even be able to do much more for mass evangelism and for his kingdom. Jesus loves you, so do I. You can follow Dr. Daniel O, Euphorina, and ECMI at facebook.com slash ECMI Worldwide and at www.ecmiworldwide.org at Dr. Daniel zero four watch miracles teachings and prophetic clips on youtube.com slash ecmi worldwide you can also contact us by calling our sms to plus two three four nine zero eight zero zero six six seven seven one or send us an email at info ECMI Worldwide at gmail.com Evergreen Cypress Ministry International Healing the Nations Revealing His Glory